Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the car. It's dark outside. I have a little light to hopefully make you guys be able to see me. But I'm doing a little car mukbang for the first time. I'm so excited. I have a little tray and everything. We are going to be trying Korean hot dogs for the first time. I've never tried. There is one not too far from my job. Hence why I'm eating in the car because by the time I get home, they'll probably be cold. So yeah, I went to Broadway Mall in Hicksville. If you guys are curious, if you guys are in like the area, that is what we're trying. I think it's called, um, I'll put the title here because I do not want to butcher that title. So let's take them out. I got three different kinds because I thought that that was a good like first little dip into trying them. So they come in these little packages like this. So cute. You guys see the glare from the light, but I also got some ketchup, some mustard, and spicy mayo to try. They had spicy mayo, and I love spicy mayo, so I figured why not, you know, give it a try. Then we are also going to have a little chit-chat while we eat. I'm going to talk to you guys about what my goals are for 2024. I think the last video that you guys saw was my second day in Maryland, so yeah, I want to talk about that everything so let's show the dogs how about that first one I got was original and he told me that it has sugar on it this is what she's looking like if you guys can see the second one that I got was the potato one that one was filled with mozzarella cheese this one is just a beef dog sausage and it looks Really good I wanted to try the potato one I wanted to try like the staple ones because I just felt like it had to you know and then the best I say for last <laughs> well that I'm so excited to try is the hot cheeto one Ooh, look at this guys I hope you guys can tell I'm so intrigued first Korean dog bite <laughs> Mm. That one is so freaking good. I don't think they gave me napkin city. Freak. They have no napkins. Hey. That one's so good. Kind of falling off the stick a little bit. I just love cheese. <laughs> okay. Let's try the other one. The potato one. Look at her. She a baddie. She knows she a 10. She a baddie. What are her baddie friends? Okay. Let's take a bite. This one's good too. Let's try it with the spicy mayo. I'm eating my hair. That one's actually really good. Let's try it again. Mm. I love it with the spicy mayo. I need some water. Okay. 
And then last is the hot cheetah one. That's what she's looking like. Okay, first bite. I'm kind of scared. I don't know why. Mm. This is a cheese bowl for me. I do think that this is my favorite because it has like a little kick to it that's so good mmm I'm like afraid to see what my mouth looks like because I have no napkins. So, which one do I want? The hot cheeto one. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to film this video to talk about my goals for 2024. I'm glad we're eating this now because the transformation challenge for orange cherry is coming up. It starts this Monday, actually, and I'm like, I need to film this video. I've been wanting to film this video for a while, and I cannot eat like this after Sunday, actually. So, the transformation challenge for Orange Theory is, I forget how many weeks it is. Is it eight weeks or something? I'll like insert it but it's a challenge within the studio you basically they scan your body and you see where you are and you kind of like have a goal to make progress in those however so many weeks to lose fat and then at the end of the like little challenge there's like a first second third place and I do it every year and I feel like this year I'm gonna go hard because I'm just like in a position right now I'm not really satisfied with my progress. Like, I'm just not comfortable in my own skin. So, I always like these challenges because it kind of gives you, like, a little head start. Really buckling down for the new year and, like, if your goal is to, like, get in better shape and stuff like that. And I love it, too, because... They have different like like challenges throughout it they have little competitions it gives you an opportunity because they do split you in teams based on coaches and of course I'm on Tina's Tina's team because if I wasn't I was gonna have a problem and go in there and just rip the place apart no I'm kidding I'm not kidding <laughs> but it kind of gives you an opportunity to also like meet people socialize they have a big party at the end of it and it's just like a really good positive experience so i'm super excited about that that's starting monday our weigh-ins i'm trying to like go in there and i know that when i weigh in i'm not going to be happy with my results but i'm kind of like trying to use it as motivation my main goals for this like transformation challenge and also just overall because even though the ch transformation challenge is only like a um a few weeks I do want to like continue my fitness journey and just better bettering myself my health my mental state like everything so I want to continue it as the year progresses when I first went into orange theory initially I signed up for it for the sole purpose of losing weight and I slowly figured out that it wasn't just about losing weight I started to fall in love with orange theory because it gave me like mental strength and like it it really helped my mindset like I started going in there for like therapy because when I first joined Orange Theory I was in a really bad place I don't know why I look so angry biting ice cream I was in a really bad place I was like suffering from OCD I was like binge drinking. I was going out way too much. Like I was just in a really negative space for myself. So after going there for a while, it kind of like really helped me 
face the issues that I was having and work through them and see that I am capable of like being like a super positive person and that it's okay to fail. Like my whole mindset changed when I joined Orange Theory. And then with that, I hit like a goal. Like I started to lose like weight and that was just like a plus on it. I want to like reprogram my mind back to that because I feel like over the time I kind of got like distracted with things. I was like trying to figure out what my career, I wanted to start YouTube and I was afraid to take that leap. Now that I am taking that leap, I feel like I'm in a position where I can like really focus on those things more so like bettering myself if that makes sense. So yeah. So that's why I also would drink this mukbang now because it's the last weekend I can eat like this. My other things I have planned for like this year I wanted like to talk to you guys about. Which one am I going to finish? Because I'm like getting full and I have literally half of like everyone. The last video that you guys saw was me coming. No, wait. Me and Marilyn. It was like my last night. Um... This time coming back hit me really hard. And every time I think about it, I literally want to break down in tears. I told myself I wasn't going to cry during this video. I don't know why. Last year when I left Baltimore, like during Christmas, I remember crying on the way back. But it wasn't like as, it, as extreme as it was this time. For some reason... When I left this time, it hit me so freaking hard. And I don't know if it's because, like, I'm getting older or that the fact that me and my sister's relationship is, our bond is growing because we literally, if we don't talk to each other every day, we at least, like, hit each other up every other day. We, like, FaceTime and we literally tell each other everything now. So I think because... I have created, like, we have created this bond that, like, played a really, like, a, an effect on me when I left because I was just so sad. It, like, I cried driving home and I had to tell myself, I was like, no, <laughs> I'm like, you cannot break down right now because the weather was horrible. It was raining. I did not want to drive on the turnpike while it was raining. It's already dangerous as it is. I'm like, no, you need to like hold it together. Do it when you get home. But it definitely had like a bigger impact on me than last time. And also coming back and like editing those videos. The first video well, that was, like, my travel video. That one, guys, it took me, it was, like, I loved, like, the editing and everything, but I would, like, cry editing it. It was just an emotional experience. But, like, a good one also, too, at the same time. I just, like, I was, like, damn, I fucking missed that. <laughs> but for my next goal, really want to take a point to, like, not just leave it for like once a year that I go see them that I go there more than once my sister has my sister has plans to come here I want to like go there more especially in the summer and stuff like that I just like really I feel like I really like realize that like time is limited and I I just want to see them more and make memories with them more and I'm so thankful too because both my sisters like were okay with being filmed my, I have another sister too, which I didn't really have that conversation with her. Maybe eventually you guys will meet her, but um, I didn't want to like put that on her. When we went there on Christmas Eve, we went to her house actually, and there was like a whole party. I didn't want to like take out a camera, you know, and like just show people like all these people that like I don't even know. So like I just no, like I just I don't want to. I always told myself that. I don't ever want to like pressure any of my friends, any of my family to be on camera if they don't want to be on camera, but I'm so blessed that they were okay with it because we have like all these memories that we're going to create and like we can like look back on it in so many years. So I'm so thankful that you guys got to meet them too. So 
yeah, so then my other goals that I have planned, obviously, well, to make more trips to go see my family, to create more memories like that. I want to be more consistent on my YouTube channel, which I feel like I'm, like, starting to get in the group. My goal is to have, like, two videos up a week, and then eventually I want to, like, tell you guys, like, a set time. I'm not one of those people that, like, I'm, like, okay, at the end of the year, I want to have, like, 110K, like, subscribers. Subscribers that I have now may seem, like little to like other people but i am like so thankful for each and every one of you guys you guys have no idea like if you guys were all in front of me right now i would give you guys like the biggest hug because i am just so appreciative like i literally look at the numbers and i always tell myself you're gonna look at this number and like remember this number like i think right now we're at like 36 and like i'm like 36 like I, like that's crazy to me like that's i'm so thankful that each and every one of you guys like want to be a part of our little positive tribe that we have going a little our little family that we're like developing i love it and i love interacting with you guys too like the ones that like leave comments on my videos and stuff i just it makes my heart so full but like my main goal is not to be like one of those people that are it's like they have to have a certain amount of like subscribers like if i have my own little circle of like people like that means so much more to me like obviously like if as my youtube channel grows and the number does increase, it's not going to take away from how thankful I am for, like, everyone that does subscribe. So, I'm excited to see, like, what my channel does this year. I do want to, like, grow my TikTok a little bit more. Just do, like, I, like, I feel like my TikTok's going to be more, like, in moment things. And then my YouTube will be, like, more in detail, if that makes sense. Because, you know, your time is limited on TikTok. Well, if you're not following me on TikTok, follow me. Stay tuned. There's so much more content there, too. I'm going to do, like, little mini vlogs, everything. And then here, like, it will be more in-depth and more details. Like, you guys really know me, you know? And then I'm going to start streaming, guys. <laughs> like, streaming, like, video gaming streaming. I got a PC over break. And... I thought it would be so much fun. I've always wanted to get into streaming, but it was one of those thoughts where I like put it on the back burner. For me to have the opportunity to actually go into it, I'm so excited for it. I want it to focus on mainly like horror games because if you guys don't know, I'm a horror fanatic. I love scary movies and I think it would be just hilarious for me to like stream us playing a horror video PC game together I think it would be so much fun because I, even though I do love horror movies I am that person that likes to squint her eyes and like hide over in the corner and like kind of like go like this and like don't really look so I think it's gonna be so funny for me to be forced to look because I have to look so I'm getting that set up I actually just got a new desk I have my PC I'm gonna have like a dual little PC setup. I'll show you guys too once that's all complete. I think my new desk is coming tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. And I might do like a separate TikTok account to post little videos, you know, like capture shots of the funny clips that we experience together. So yeah. So those are like my main goals. My main things that are, are my things that I'm like looking forward to this year and I cannot wait to show you guys each and every one of them like I'm so excited to like film it I'm so excited just to film and like edit and take you guys into my world and what we're doing and I want to hear about you guys' goals let me know what you guys have planned this year what goals you have set up for yourself don't ever give up listen I have all these things set in place for myself but it doesn't mean that it's going to be like an an easy path for me like, I know that I'm going to go through challenges. I know that I'm going to go through setbacks and things. But, like, that is what makes the experience so much more worthy of it. Like, it makes the experience so much more exciting. Because it shows you that you worked hard for it and you're achieving it. And, you know, it's like, wow, I can do this no matter what stands in my way. And it's fucking awesome. So, yeah. I love these green hot dogs. They were so good. I'm so glad that we tried them together for the first time. If you guys are like interested in, in these more of these mukbangs, let me know. I will definitely film them for you and like try different things. 
and we can chit chat, have a little therapy sesh, you know, or not. We can just talk about random things. I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button, like, what are you doing? Like, join the fam already, okay? <laughs> but until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you again. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bailando en la disco la canción soltera. La canción soltera.